All right, thank you for sending your questions in, and I'm going to get right to answering them. So one of the first questions you have is, how come after publishing my site, I still see the lower working section again? Um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean, um, but this is what we see here when I'm in your Weebly editor. Um, so you'll have the title here, you have your social media here, and if we look at your site, your title shows up, your social media, because you didn't fill out anything, they won't show up. Uh, you have your home, and that is indeed there, and you have your banner there, and uh, it's just looking for some kind of an image to have there. I'm not exactly sure what you mean by lower ranking section, but um, that's there. So um, I didn't go into it a lot in the last video, but I will answer the second question next. How do I please add other tabs alongside the home tab? Okay, so. Like I mentioned before, in order to add pages, you're going to go to Pages, go to Add a Page. Now you have three different options in here. First one being Standard Page. A standard page has flexible content, area to add elements and like uh, objects in there. There is uh, the Blog Page, which is a bit different. It allows you to add, let's say, journal-like items or dynamic content, as we like to call it, um, to the particular page. So the page will change based upon the content that you add to it as opposed to a standard page which can change as well but this one is more dynamics more like a journal or diary or like a news kind of page like CNN or uh, MSNBC or something like that external link you can create a page that is not necessarily a page but when you click on the menu item it takes you to another um, website or a link or what have you so in this case let's start with the standard page we'll just click on this and we will call this contact us so with this being here, we will go ahead and leave it on this layout. You have options here for hiding the page and navigation menu, which can be useful if you don't want uh, to show up in the menu items section, but you kind of want it to be hidden or reserved for something uh, for a later date or if you just want to work on it without people seeing it. So next we will go ahead and click on Save Settings. And voila, it comes up here. Now, of course, it won't show up here because we haven't published yet. But let's go ahead and do another page. Let's go to about us and let's choose a narrow image at the top there and you see this one becomes narrow this one's larger this one's narrow and let's go ahead and publish now I do use Chrome quite frequently you can use Internet Explorer, Safari, Opera, Dolphin uh, Firefox if you so wish but I definitely recommend using Firefox or Chrome for this, especially Chrome, because it just happens to work better with Weebly. So this tells you that it's published. We'll just go back here. We'll refresh the page. And with it refreshed, voila, it shows up on the page. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see if I can get to your third question before I have to make another video. If I first choose a design template and load two or three pages, will they show up on top of the chosen design? Okay, so for example, uh, let's just go ahead and put some random content in here real quick. If I'm understanding your question correctly, essentially you want to know if you start adding content but then you change the template, will it uh, maintain the amount of uh, the, the maintain the content that you put in there so let's go ahead and let's drop this in here click to edit and that's just some uh, Alice in Wonderland text in there and let's try adding something a little bit fun on top of that let's add a picture here and a picture here and you know let's break it up into three Give it a moment to load, and we'll just switch that with this one here, and we'll just go ahead and add an image real quick. We'll just put that one over there. And that's going to upload. And I will create a second video and continue with it from there. And you see that's there. And let me go ahead and create a second video because we're now reaching our five minute mark.